He's one of the higher tier Ben 10 villains, but in overall villain, I'm picking Vivian. Good morning, pizza people. Today, we got a special treat. We are back today with another reoccurring homie of the channel, The Cursed Eye. And Yo. he's here today to help us rank some villains. We got like, we're going to do about like 15 to 30. And whenever we run the hell out of villains. All right, I ain't even going to hold you. That was capped because I low-key ended up with a recording that was actually like 55 minutes long. And I know y'all ain't going to watch all of that. So if y'all do get this video to 30 likes, I'll go ahead and throw out the full 55 minute vod of us ranking each character on my second channel. Go Pete, we move. We're going to start off with Green Goblin. I feel like this ain't no like debate motherfuckers in s tier like bros just he he's the ultimate like i'm gonna be on your ass type of guy we saw with no way home he was straight demonic i don't know like how you feel you agree i think he's the best villain in the spider-man series well not miles around because he got he on different type of timing but on in terms of villains with spider-man he's probably the best i'm putting dark side of the b <laughs> i'm not a good pick that at dark side because I, I, I guess for me, right, like, I, I just feel like I've done polls and I've been doing verses with Dark Sides and all of that. And everybody always talks about how Dark Side is some type of motherfucker that's like not even in his real body. Talks about how he could really neg everybody if he wanted to. And I guess for him they if he wanted to be such a if he wanted to type of motherfucker why doesn't he actually do it like that's my whole dick your dick that's why like he's raw as hell but that genuinely holds him back from the dub for me i don't know how you yeah feel. it's just, he's just a character he's just a character that just like uh, overhyped character that he may be able to do this or he may not be able to and i'm just not a big fan of that reverse flash Reverse Flash is an A. He could almost be an S, but he's an A. I say Reverse Flash. I could say Reverse Flash is an S. Reverse Flash. Is the pure. If you want to talk about hatred for a main character, that is Reverse Flash. It's hatred, but because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Flash. I, it's hatred with a side of love. Like it's so much infatuation in there that it's not like a. I guess when I'm thinking of villains, like, and all of that. That's Lex Luthor, too, though. I don't I don't think Lex Luthor loves Superman. It's because he wants to be Superman. No, nah, I think with Lex Luthor, it's more of a... He views Superman as the end-all, be it, as the, the end of the human race. Like, he's such, he's such a god that he, he makes being a human feels so insignificant and i think that's why lex luthor uh the motherfucker from this not from megamind uh wasn't he the hero he was like wasn't he jonah hill <laughs> he looked like him he definitely looks like jonah hill was he played by jonah hill he was I, he was a cool crazy. little loser cool little loser Pretty sure that was like the hero of it because Megamind was technically the villain. But he was a simp. He was mad as hell shorty wouldn't date him. That's kind of lame. Yeah, he was pretty lame in my opinion too. Okay, he's he's gonna get a C. Uh, Bowser? How you feel? Bowser about? up there. I ain't gonna lie. Bowser up there. He's an S. Premium, premium hater. Yeah, he's a. He will see you every day of the week. I, I don't think anybody in the Mario universe rivals him. I can't even think of another villain in the Mario universe. I don't even know what other villain. <laughs> I'm sure there are other villains, but at the end of the day, they all come back to Bowser. Yeah, he's him. He's him. Okay. Uh, Bane. Ooh. That that back snap is crazy. The back snap is crazy. I'm gonna give him an A for the back snap, but <laughs> they be fumbling him sometimes. Like he was kind of cringy in the live action. The bro was just looked weird. Sometimes he'd be too, he's either sometimes too smart or sometimes like just not enough. Like he's going to get an A, but they need to treat him better. Looks like it. Yeah. Thanos. Mm. 
Thanos is a great villain. I think comic Thanos is kind of a dork. Uh, oh, yeah, they be holding him. That nigga did all of that they shit. Be... Everything he did was because he wanted to date Lady Death. Yeah, they be putting, they be making him get beat by everybody. He's he... we get beat by Squirrel Girl. That's crazy. He's he's actually kind of yeah. I'm gonna give him that C. Comic Thanos is some C, but we got movie Thanos over here somewhere. Where that motherfucker at? That nigga, he he raw. He a little A tier. Throw him up there. Okay. How you feel about Doctor Doofenshmirtz? That that is a. I ain't gonna lie. Doofenshmirtz is a great villain for Phineas and Fur. Is he Phineas and Fur's villain? Yeah, to write that good of a villain. I thought he was just Perry's villain. Oh yeah. Oh, he's just he's just a bad guy. Well, Perry fights him all the time, but he runs like a lot of shit in Phineas and Ferb. And a backstory for a villain backstory is crazy. Motherfucker, parents didn't even show up to his birth. That's crazy. I can give him that. Is. I can give him. That. All right. Uh, Baki's dad. Not even a villain. Utero. He's a pretty big villain. I think he's, I mean, he's not outright evil, but he's definitely not a good person. I mean, as long as you stay away from him, he ain't gonna fuck with you. But stay out of his way. But imagine you post, like, a decent workout video on Instagram, and it get, like, a million views, and then that nigga show up at your house the next day. Like, you're gonna be kind of sick. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, he be pulling up on random strong motherfuckers for no reason. Like, bro's a kind of asshole. Like, that will fuck up my day. I'll be like, damn, bro. I can't just get my IG views. Hell no. You can't get that demon back. Nah. Nah. How you feel about Voldemort? <laughs> I just Voldemort's a all funny Harry villain Potter for movies. me. Voldemort's a funny-ass villain to me. He... I think I don't he's know. funny. Picture him, picture him like you be... <laughs> picture you beef with him. I'm not taking him serious. I can't take him seriously either because of the fact that, like, this man was mad as hell at a baby he couldn't kill. And he spent years and years trying to track down and smoke this baby and shit like that. All for the whole time, it was impossible for him to ever win. Like, <laughs> just physically impossible because he would always die if Harry died. So, he's a bitch. A little bit of a... Voldemort's kind of mid to me. He's not that guy. <laughs> like I'm, he's just. Actually, every time he's on screen, I'm just smiling. Damn near dying because that shit is funny. Just, just a cornball. I'll, I'll give him a C. A funny cornball. What are we doing with light? Mm. Uh, light. He's not that good of a villain. How come? Like, he's he's okay. Like, Death Note, like, he's okay for the plot of Death Note, but, like, in terms of being a villain... Because really, really, what he want? He just wanted to kill every kill everybody that were, like, bad. That's true. He just, he did suck when it came to him being a villain, but when it came to him being low-key good, yeah. I'm gonna give him a, a C for that villain shit. But if we just talking about heroes, Light's a hero for me.